So I think it's official now. I, uh, I don't want to jump the gun here, but I'm reasonably confident that I can say this. If I happen to have gotten ahead of myself, I can always apologize later, I guess. I just went to a very qualified, very highly recommended psychologist, psychiatrist, to get an official diagnosis and assessment on whatever the hell's going on inside this thing. And there were, uh, some surprising results. For starters, I seem to have yet another trained professional agreeing that I have a pretty aggressive anxiety disorder, all by just spending five minutes with me. And also, yes, after having some suspicions raised, I am also apparently a very high-functioning sufferer of ADHD. Which, holy hell, does that explain a lot. Memory problems, motivations, uh, not being able to focus <laughs> or understand, being able to even walk upright from room to room, or uh, being distracted by a potted plant along the way, or forgetting what I am even doing there in the first place. What was I talking about? So that was all well and good, but uh, there were a few unexpected developments. I'm still waiting on test results, for example, uh, on whether or not I have anything else going on in there, like PTSD, as some recent specialists have told me to look into. I think she told me that that test was supposed to take place over the course of like two hours. I'm pretty sure I finished it in around half an hour, I think. I also got to confirm, officially, something I've always known. I'm really bad at math. I apparently had to take some sort of math test as a component to all of this, and uh, basically had a nervous breakdown halfway through. Numbers are the devil, but uh, the biggest surprise of all. I didn't know it at the time, because I feel as though if she had told me, it would have probably tainted the results, but in order for the doctor to properly assess what was going on inside my head. I guess she needed to do an official IQ test, which alarmed me. She didn't tell me till it was already over, so it kind of blindsided me. To be clear, I know I'm halfway intelligent. I'm nowhere near genius level, and I would never delude myself into thinking that I am. But for a while now... I've been convinced that my mind has been slipping significantly. And that while I'm smart in many respects, I'd convinced myself that I wasn't remotely smart in anything that really mattered. So as I said, when I found out that there was an IQ test component to all of this, I freaked out a little bit. Because I thought I was about to confirm all of my suspicions. Deep breath. Apparently... 90 to about 109 is around normal or average intelligence. I scored in or around 120, which, if Google has anything to say about this, is high. 140 and above being legit genius level. So, yeah. I just want it known... This is not a flex. I honestly feel really weird about it. And I am nowhere near Tony Stark smart. I am also still really bad at doing some very simple mundane things. And sometimes it's even difficult for me to even grasp what the hell is going on around me. But today, Brenton Sides felt a little good about himself. Brent got answers to his questions... And his confidence grew about three sizes that day. Let's hope I can get the most out of it before the, you know, imposter syndrome comes back. My, my big point here, though, just, man, is it good to know that there is a name for what is going on inside of my head and that there is treatment for it. The act of knowing and figuring that out and knowing that the science is there and that there's treatment and support systems in place which are only getting better with time. It's, it's amazing to see and it's amazing to feel.
And I hope that if anyone out there is struggling with even half the things that I have been going through, just know there is hope. There is help. And like all of my videos, I hope this helped somebody. But now, if you'll excuse me, I have to lay face down on the carpet and decompress for like a week. Bye, everybody.